Tapping Seat is the most popular and award-winning vegetarian restaurant in Western North Carolina. In business since 1991, they started out as the lunch counter in the local YMCA. Two years later, they moved to historic Wall Street where they've been serving their fabulous global fusion dishes to vegetarians and non-vegetarians ever since. What is your philosophy on vegetarian food just as a whole? It's probably different from a lot of people's. I didn't come into being a vegetarian because of any real political beliefs, though now sustainability has become an important thing to me. I became a vegetarian because it made me feel great when I ate that way. Light, healthy, vibrant. This is a raw lasagna, and it's a lasagna because it's got strata of zucchini marinated that act as the noodles. It features a pesto, a ricotta, and a sun-dried tomato sauce. It's completely raw. All the foods that have been heated have been heated to 100 degrees or less. Raw food can be a little bit scary because you're thinking, oh, well, what am I just going to eat, raw carrots or something like that? You know, you don't think that you can make something that amazing. I don't miss anything. You know, I'm not thinking, oh, this should be cooked or if this only had X, Y, Z, it's just, it's perfect. It's a perfect dish. I feel vegetarian food can be absolutely as sensuous, as, as decadent, as um, flavorful as any cuisine out there and we focus on world cuisines and there's tons of world cuisine without meat being made. The Indians, the Vietnamese, the Thai, they all know about it. This is incredible looking and I have to confess I have no clue what it is. Okay, this is our take on um, a traditional Indian uh, appetizer called a pakora. I think you've got an eggplant in there and some yeah, it looks onion like it. Okay. on uh, the other one. So we batter the vegetable and deep fry it in our seasoned batter and then we have in this case covered it with a little of our vegan uh, sour cream. It's different. It's different. Yeah. Fair. This is our most popular appetizer. On our and different in a good way, not like I'm being, you know, <laughs> that's, well, that's okay. different. No, it's really good. <laughs> you said something earlier when we were talking was that vegetarian food shouldn't be a punishment. Exactly. And I so love many that. people still think that way. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not about what you're lacking, it's what about what you can have. Oh, exactly. I and mean, the incredible combinations, the, thing that, the things that nature yields that we can play with, the wild mushrooms in the spring that come out of this area are unbelievable. The local shiitakes, uh, fresh corn, red onion, and then some Asian seasoning. Uh, we roast those uh, with red potatoes, make a, basically a fritter out of it. I love when things are crispy on the outside and soft yeah. on the inside. We just like to get them brown on the outside and keep them soft inside. It's really good. Where do your recipes come from? Uh, originally, I was the head chef. They were all my recipes, and there are still a few of those left on the menu. But now, I have not nearly as much to do with that. I have great chefs and have, over the years, just amazing, talented people have come through here with the seasonal uh, produce that's coming in. Uh, we're criticized sometimes because sometimes people never see the same special twice, but that's really almost our signature. We've done uh, stuffed pepper. We've taken some of the sausage that we make for our brunch. Uh, so it's our own vegan sausage recipe. And we've treated it as though it were chorizo to make kind of a Mexican sausage out of it. So it features cumin, tomatoes, onions, a little bit of cinnamon. And then we've put that with fresh corn, and red onion and some other savories and we baked it inside the pepper. Oh, what a great flavor combination. This is our Pacific Rim seitan dish. It's on our summer menu. It's our uh, lighter dish for the summer. It features our grilled marinated seitan uh, in, a, in a papaya rum sauce, a lemon saffron quinoa and some wok sauteed bok choy in you know, a light uh, sake glaze garlic. We, we saute that in a little bit of um, basil butter that we make with Earth Balance that's vegan. That is incredible. That is so flavorful. I love the consistency. The sauce is really kind of tart, but, but creamy and really, really nice. What is the benefit of quinoa over, say, rice or another grain? Well, besides being a traditional food, um, it's packed full of amino acids, so it's a complete protein food. It's one of the few, especially um, for a grain, uh, it's hard to come by with a lot of protein. Yeah, well so, this is loaded with protein. You know, a lot of protein. people are afraid of vegetarian food because they're not, they're afraid they're not going to get their protein in, but between the seitan and the quinoa, and really the vegetables even themselves are loaded with protein. Right. This is a very high protein dish. 
tell me about the history. Asheville's a really supportive town of vegetarian food. There's a lot of healthy, active people here. We've been busy since the day we opened. When we first started The Seed, we knew that someday we wanted to do a pub as well, but we concentrated on the restaurant first. We've been brewing beer for 10 years now, and we've got a line, Green Man Ales. We do a couple organic blends, but they are vegan. Nice. Yeah, they're delicious. You should try one. Oh, absolutely. I'm not leaving without trying the beer. Come on, <laughs> come on, it's beer. Now tell me about the name Laughing Seed. What does Laughing Seed mean? There's a little fable we wrote about a seed that satisfies hunger and you know makes people happy. But the real story is we started very, very small and that was our seed. And when we were free associating, trying to get a name, we decided to go with the seed image. You know, we were gonna do vegetarian, but we added the laughing so we would keep our sense of humor in the restaurant business which is not always easy to do. Our pastry chef, Leah, has made a lemon poppy seed vegan, like a pound cake, essentially. Um, very rich, very tall, has a lemon cream and some blueberries, and we serve those with some local uh, edible flowers. Who knew really vegans could have pound cake? <laughs> we can indeed, and we do. Wow. Mm. She loves it. And it doesn't taste unhealthy though. It's not too rich. It's not too, it just doesn't taste like it has a ton of sugar in it. It's just, it, it's very light, but, but sweet, but not too sweet, you know? It's just, it's pretty much a perfect dessert. Great, thank you. If you make it to Asheville, do yourself a favor and have a meal or two at Laughing Seed. The food is fresh, beautiful, and healthy, and the location and atmosphere really give you a feel for the city. And here's a tip, try the special. Doesn't matter what it is, it'll be fabulous. My name is Yvonne Smith, and I'm the Traveling Vegetarian.